Hi everyone, Steve Kim here. So excited, Steve Kim Show, episode number seven. First and foremost, I just wanna send out my heartfelt apologies. I wasn't able to shoot a video last month, was crazy busy um, helping some beautiful and wonderful people find uh, uh, properties, dream properties, um, and helping to also sell some wonderful homes. Uh, so my apologies, but what I've done for this episode is I've actually uh, taken the April numbers and I've compared them to the May numbers. So let's get right into it. So in Toronto, uh, you'll see the April numbers and the May, uh, May 2018 numbers in red. Total numbers of sales in Toronto, again, for all housing units, we had just under 3,000. And then in May, we see that number just get over 3,000. So see a little bit of a, a small increase in the total number of sales. And you know what? That's because people have spring fever, right? There are two peaks in real estate, uh, as most people know, the spring and the fall. So more sales, um, as however that being the case, active listings. So from April to May, from 4,785, we jump up to almost 5,800. So people are really trying to get their houses on the market in the spring. Um, in the spring market because you know what that's when the buyers are are out uh, They're out driving around they're enjoying weather finally no more ice storms uh, Which is amazing months of inventory and this is the number you and I know is What we should be looking at so months of inventory for April 1.6 and then in May 1.9 and you know at this number That's still a seller's market. So certain pockets within Toronto and certain neighborhoods and housing types Absolutely, we are still seeing multiple offers and bidding wars. The average sale price, again, for all housing types, townhouses, semis, detached, and condos, was trading at $866,000 um, in April, and then slightly just dipped a little bit to $862,000 in May. In York Region, total number of sales, yikes, 1,145 for April. And then in May, 10 less sales at 1,135. What's interesting though is total number of sales of 1,145, we have 5,100 active listings. 10 less sales, yet we have almost 600 more listings. So what's gonna happen? You got it. Months of inventory go up. So just look at the months of inventory comparison. Toronto to York region. What do you think? At 4.5 and now five months of inventory. Yes, it's a, the people say it's a balanced market. My opinion, when we start to get close to that five, exceeding five months of inventory, we're in a buyer's market. So buyers, you have complete uh, control, if you have the best agent, uh, to really work down sellers and get that price down. Quick little shout out to Elena and Patrick. Helped them find a beautiful house up in Aurora, listed 1.55 million, and we got it down, I got it down for 1.25 million. So Elena and Patrick, I know you're watching. Best of luck with your move tomorrow, and I will be there every step of the way. Let's get back into the numbers. Average uh, sale price in York region in April, 940,000, and then in May, 929,000. So just a little bit of a, uh, a dip there. I took a look at, look at the housing types, so detached townhomes and condos for May 2018. In Toronto, the average detached house was trading at 1.43 million, months of inventory at 2.9. Over to York region, we see that number 1.15 months of, or million dollars, months of inventory at Wow, 6.4. So if you bought a house in York Region or you're looking to buy a house in York Region, you've been really able to negotiate uh, that price down and you've really been able to kind of be patient uh, and really kind of pick out those gems uh, that are out there. Townhomes in Toronto, 932,000. Months of inventory, months of inventory, 1.6. And I'm gonna get back to this number because this and the condos, uh, months of inventory in Toronto, um, I. Mentioned this back in a previous episode, but let me get back to that in a little bit. Uh, the average townhouse in York region was trading uh, 777,000, months of inventory at 3.9. Condo market, the red hot condo market, Toronto, York region. In Toronto, 600. They just broke the $600,000 uh, mark barrier. The average deta oh, sorry, the average condominium in Toronto now trading over $600,000. Months of inventory at 1.5 versus York Region, just under half a million dollars. And the months of inventory at 3.2. So a few months ago, I said that, or my prediction was, is that in 2018, the townhome, a townhome and the condo market will be driving uh, the real estate uh, this year because, and it's crazy to think this because, you know, that's almost a million dollars. This is now over $600,000. To live in Toronto, 
These would be your affordable housing options. And this is what people are snatching up uh, right now in droves. We're seeing multiple offers on condos and in townhomes uh, in Toronto. Hopefully you, uh, you got some uh, nuggets of, uh, of gold and information uh, from this episode. Uh, thank you so much for uh, showing me the love. And please feel free to like, uh, share, comment below. And if you have any questions whatsoever, I'm always here to serve you. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful month. And I look forward to Steve Kim's show, episode number eight, uh, in a few weeks. Have a great night, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.